I'm back with another wig review. And this time I will be reviewing this unit from Y Wigs. So they did send me this wig to share with you guys. So this is just the contents of the package. They sent a wig cap, elastic for the wig, and also a wig edge scarf, which I, I love that idea. So I was super excited about that. So here's the wig in the netting, the packaging, all of that, taking it right out of the box, you guys. So this is their curly pixie cut bob wig. And um, this is what the wig cap construction looks like. So the wig does come with combs, adjustable straps. It does have um, a comfortable cap construction. So I do love that about it. And you have a good bit of parting space in this wig as well. So this is the wig on my head. I'm just getting ready to go ahead and cut off the lace. So I'm just looking at the hairline. It looks really good. So I love that about it. And this is my first time cutting a lace with the wig on my head. I normally don't do this because I don't want to cut my edges. But um, yeah, it was really easy to do. So I was it wasn't too bad. I was able to cut the lace without cutting my hair. So yeah, so it's not that difficult. But yeah, so... The wig here is looking a little rough in my opinion because, yeah, it looks a little dry and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to style her, but we we are going to play with this wig and fix her up. So I love um, that it is a short curly wig. So yeah, I should be able to work with this wig. So I'm just finished cutting off all the lace and then I'll go ahead and take the wig off and cut the lace off in the back and then I'll pop her back on for styling. So I'm just putting a wig back on and just to see how I'm going to style her. So this is what she's looking like. And of course, mousse is going to be my best friend. So I'm going to apply mousse on this hair just see which way I'm going to style her. If I'm going to put a side part, which look is looking like I'll probably go with the side part because it just looks like that's just a natural way that it's going to go. So yeah, so I'm just adding a little bit of mousse. And now I'm just spraying some water to loosen up the curls just a bit. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take some got to be glue spray. And I'm going to spray this around my edges to kind of um, help to glue this wig down. This is my first time really, well, second attempt to glue a wig down. But yeah, so I'm going to use the spray and the glue to go ahead and glue her down so that she's in place and not moving all over the place. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just go ahead and blow dry all of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay the wig down. Hopefully, she stays laid. Because <laughs> your girl is not good at gluing wigs. But uh, for the sake of this video and this curly wig, I wanted to see if I could actually go ahead and glue her down. And so far, so good. She's not looking too bad. Um, not too bad at all. And I'm just taking the back of this uh, comb and I'm just pressing the lace to make sure that it's it lays flat and hopefully she stays in place. I'm just taking so, the blow dryer and just blow drying the edges. And then after this, I'm gonna take my um, hot comb and just kind of thin out or smooth out the, the edges a little bit because it looks a little thick there. Um, and I didn't pluck or tweeze anything at the hairline. So I'm just go ahead and just kind of smooth the front of the wig out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay uh, the edges down with my scarf to make sure that they are completely dry and that it stays in place. So now I'm just taking some powder and I'm gonna go ahead and put this powder in the parting. I didn't tweeze or pluck any of the hair out. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this foundation powder in the parting um, just to make it a little bit more visible. Um, and it does look really good once I added the powder. I don't know what I was trying to do here. I was thinking about adding some wand curls, but that was a fail. So I ended up just going ahead and just adds a little bit of shine spritz. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and add some more mousse Put some more water in this wig and really loosen up these curls, you guys, and just fluff her out. So all I did was fluff her out with my fingers until I got it to my desired look. Um, the wand curls was just not working. So yeah, so I just went ahead and just moosed her down, sprayed her down, 
um, with, a, with a lot of water and then just fluffed her out. And then I got this cute little curly look, which I thought is was really cute. And it wasn't hard to do. I just had to figure it out. So this is pretty much what it ended up looking like. And so now I'm just going to cut some baby hairs into the wig. Not too many, um, but just to... Um, I don't know, I thought baby hairs would look cute with this short curly style. So yeah, I just decided to cut some into this wig and I'm just gonna take my uh, pomade and I'm just gonna go ahead and just shape those baby hairs as best as possible, you guys, and just, you know, go with that. So, so far I think she's looking cute. Let me know what you guys think because uh, at first I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this wig because even though it's a short wig, sometimes short hair can be hard to style, um, especially, um, if it's curly and it's not, you know, sometimes it can be a little hard to style, but I really like how this wig turned out. I think she's super cute and actually really easy to style actually. So once you kind of get it to your liking, she's definitely a really cute short pixie cut unit. I really like it. If you guys have not checked out Y wigs, go check them out. Get your unit today. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous unit. I'd highly recommend you guys check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, thumbs up, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye.